Hello everyone, it's Jules December. Um, here we are, the gang, uh, finally starting to form. We have from right to left, we have little Sergio. He is my baton twirler, flamethrower. Um, he's really good with fire, daggers, and darts, <clears throat> along with uh, throwing a baton and um, anything sharp and fiery. Next is Swaki. Uh, her father is a archaeologist out of Africa. Uh, he is German. Her mother is African. And she ends up <clears throat> with Mimi's uh, family, the Polite family. Uh, the father, Paulo, I have yet to get. I haven't found anything um, I feel is worthy of the family. And um, this is Mimi, the mother. She is a mime slash clown um and basically that this she's the first thing you see in my story um i'm very excited to have her home you have no idea uh to get a good look at her she's just beautiful i i cannot tell you how excited i am and this outfit that i got for her ended up being um actually pretty good for what I wanted, so I might keep her in that. And then to my far left is Pelly. She is the main character of the story. Um, she is the daughter of Mimi. Um, Pelly, uh, I'll talk about her character later, but she's the daughter. So um, as you can see, Swaki, I've changed her into some clothing. Uh, the white shirt that I thought was a nightgown is actually a shirt I bought for her. It's a little oversized, but that's okay because um, that kind of works into the story where she comes a into the family at the age of seven. She is now 11, and Mimi gives her some clothes to put on to work in Mimi's cafe, and it is the Mime Cafe. Um, so she's got on the same leggings. She's got on those black uh, pumpkin pants, and I'm not going to touch her, but Mimi has the pumpkin pants on underneath that, too. So, um, yeah, I, I am really excited. I don't want to say too much about the story because I don't have the other two men who are supposed to be here, which is Paulo, the, uh, Mimi's husband. He is an organ grinder. Um, and then there is going to be... Uh, Zeche, he is a giant, which is actually a tall man, uh, from the circus. So, uh, this family gets into a lot, a lot of trouble. So, uh, it's going to be very exciting to tell you about the loves of my life, um, that I have written about since 2002. And, uh, to see them come to, uh, to the forefront, especially seeing Mimi, I, when I first saw her picture, after the artist had sent me the face-up pictures, um, the actual sculptor did the face-up. I cried. <laughs> as silly as that sounds, I cried. But yeah, she is everything I expected her to be and more. So I'm really, 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 really happy. So this is everybody all made up. These are the characters in my story. I know that you guys have seen Beatrice before, my uh, soul doll. Zenith girl Beatrice. Um, she is actually a stand-in character for a gypsy I have in my story, Galena. And um, Beatrice fills the role perfectly for right now, but that's not her ultimate role. She'll have her own story later on. She's just meant to look pretty. Um, I didn't put her in this video. Okay, well thank you guys for watching and uh, I'm excited to share. I'll start making more videos. I'll try. Okay, bye-bye.